Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to understand own properties. In the following example, the bird constructor defines two properties, name and number of legs. Name and number of legs. The constructor defines them, and there's only one parameter being passed in. So you can create different ducks based on whatever name you passed in. So here they've created two different ducks and both of them have two legs. Name and number of legs are called own properties because they are defined directly on the instance object. This means the duck and canary each has its own separate copy, copy of these pr properties. In fact, every instance of bird will have its own copy of these properties. The following code adds all of the own properties of ducks to the array own props. So here we uh, create a new empty array called own props. Um, we're going to say for each property in duck, we're going to put it in here. So if duck has own property of property, the own props, meaning the array, we're going to add the property onto it. So if we were to console.log own props, that's going to print name and number of legs. So we've just iterated through each of the properties in the duck. So we want to add own properties of canary to the array own props. Um, okay, so we'll just do it the same way that they did here. We'll say for, and we're going to create a for loop where we go, we're going to say let um, property in um, uh, they did it there in duck, yeah, yeah in uh, canary uh, if uh, canary has own property of the property then we're going to say own props dot push the property and now if we were to console dot log own props what do you think we'll have right name and number of legs own props should include the number of legs and name you should solve this challenge without using the built-in method object dot keys what, what does that mean console dot log if we were to say object dot keys of um, a canary would we get the same thing console a lot Okay, so I've got some sort of an error here. Add your code here. Let canary in. Let property in canary. Property is the name that you come up with. Um, if the canary has the own of property. So push. So what happens if we console.log property? Hmm, interesting. For some reason that wasn't coming up. Anyways, so here I'm going to fail the tests this time because I have this object to dot keys in here. So this is a kind of a hint as to like what's going to happen next, right? Object dot keys does the same thing as just saying, uh, going, iterating through and asking whether or not um, the canary has its own property of the property being passed in. So what we're doing here is canary has the property of name and legs. And then here we're saying we're going through each one name this canary have a property of name that's true and therefore we push it on to here and then we get name here and then for the next one we're going to the next um, property on the bird fun um, constructor on the object and we're getting number of legs if the canary has the property of number of legs which is true then we add number of legs to the own props and then we print them out and so if we get rid of this now it'll work and if we run the test, that'll pass. Awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.